the potential effects of light pollution on health really go beyond cancer and really can impact a variety of, of systems in our bodies. The tumor cells read the amount of melatonin that is in that blood. As we predicted, the high levels of melatonin during the night, those in fact will shut down the growth activity and metabolism of these tumors. Night shift workers have a higher incidence of the development of type 2 diabetes and obesity. There's evidence that light at night can increase clinical depression. Melatonin, for it to do the things that it needs to do to our advantage physiologically, metabolically, it has to be timed right, perfectly. And that's one of the things that light pollution is, is screwing up. And now they see research emerging in other fields such as metabolism, obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and they say, wow, this, is, this goes beyond cancer. This affects virtually every system in our body. Not only is there the potential for light pollution, if you will, or light at night, as being a risk factor for the development and growth of cancer, but it may, in fact, compromise the ability of certain cancer therapies to be effective. We had the hope this would stimulate people to push for more government funding for this kind of research, and that really hasn't happened. We still get grants, uh, but it's very difficult to, to keep, this research, keep this research funded. And this affects all of us, not just shift workers. You know, it's everybody, because we're all exposed to light at night. And, gee, why, why haven't you done this study or that study? And it always comes back to money. We actually have a lineup of experiments. We know exactly the experiments we need to do. They're, they're sitting there, all designed. They just require the money to execute them.